These large masses of living things inundating the shores of the Caribbean islands are not plants. These are algae, which means they do photosynthesis but without the standard issue parts like leaves, roots or even stems. They're a different type of living thing to plants. And since 2011, they've been washing up on beaches on the Atlantic much more than they used to, specifically on beaches near the Great Atlantic Sargassum Belt. In moderation, sargassum is a key part of the ocean ecosystem. It pumps oxygen into the water and serves as food. But in large quantities near or on the shore, it can have a range of effects. From reducing fish population to messing with boats, it can even make beaches unattractive to tourists. One theory about the massive sargassum blooms point towards the increased level of nitrogen and phosphorus pouring into the ocean from major rivers like the Amazon and Congo. But a recent study suggests that in 2011, we might have reached the point of no return. The models created to study the sargassum buildup show that even if the Amazon River stopped pouring nitrogen and phosphorus into the ocean, sargassum would still be a problem for communities already struggling with its abundance. <laughs> 